Chris, would you like to read your personal essay? Okay, Mrs. Donovan. Following Mrs. Donovan by Chris Griffin. The first thing that Mrs. Donovan does when she gets home from school is put on sweatpants. Then she eats a whole tube of cookie dough, but she must be allergic to it because there are tears coming out of her eyes, and she always throws up right after. Then she puts paper doll clothes on a picture of a sonogram. Chris, I think you should stop. What? I'm doing the best I can. I'm not Nathaniel Hawthorne. <laughs> Nathaniel, what are you doing? Just ruining ninth grade for everyone. Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, I called you in today because your son, Chris, has been getting in quite a bit of trouble lately. In fact, just yesterday, he tried to pass this drawing off as his advanced art project. Oh, my. I'm very embarrassed. Well, someone should be. I'm sorry, Principal Shepard. We've tried talking to Chris. We just don't know what else to do. Well, I think we may have a solution. We have these cats that hang around the school, and we feed them. Why doesn't Chris come in and we can treat him like one of the cats? And in a couple of years, we'll give him a diploma. That doesn't sound like he'll be getting the best education. I don't know, Lois. Some of those cats go on to get pretty good jobs. Yep. We now return to Oliver, the director's cut. Ah! I've hurt my leg! Oh, you dear unfortunate. I got a watch! I got a brooch! I got this! What's that then? A feminine hygiene apparatus? Was that in a pocket? No, more in sort of a sleeve. Peter, I'm really worried about Chris. What are you gonna do about him? Let's face it, Lois, the kid's an idiot. What the hell happened to all the smart genes in this family? I mean, I invent the razor blade comb and my kids are doing nothing. I mean, when Chris grows up, will he even be able to get a job or uh, take care of himself? I feel awful saying it, but I'm kind of embarrassed by him sometimes. I know, and he's got boobs, too. Stupid guy with boobs. Acting like he doesn't want us to look. He wants us to look. Stop making fun of me! <gasps> I just wanted to listen to you guys have sex, but you were saying mean things about me! Chris! Oh my god! Uh, no! We weren't talking about you! Yeah, we were talking about Meg. We, we call her Chris so she doesn't know. Fuck you! Shut up, Chris! I know that's not true! <laughs> Oh, God. Peter, he heard us call him stupid. His own parents. What have we done? Yeah, well, it's never easy hearing the truth, especially from an auctioneer. Where the hell have you been? Honey, I was at a bar and I had a couple of beers. Two beers. Do I hear three? I got four. Four beers. I had six beers. Seven beers. Bought by a woman who I thought was 21. She looked 21, but she was 19. 19 years old. Do I hear 18? 18. Hoping for 18. She was 17. 17 going once. Going twice. 16. She was 16 years old and I'm going to jail for 20 years. Make that 10 years. Eight years with time off for good behavior. But I am getting sold down the river for getting drunk and having sex with a kid. Oh, by the way, there's a baby in my preschool with HIV, and my teacher gave you something to sign to get him kicked out. Hi, Chris! There's my big, smart son, my special guy, my Chrissy! Sounds like someone got her vibrator working again. Oh, look out, everyone! Double-digit IQ joining the table! Hey, Smarty, think fast! <laughs> he knows. He knows it's hot, because he's smart. I don't want to talk to you guys. You called me an idiot. How could you possibly think this phony being nice to me act was going to work? Oh, Chris, you must have just misheard us. I was standing right there. How is that possible? Because you're an idiot, that's how. Peter! I'm going to school! It's Sunday, right? Peter, we've completely destroyed his self-esteem. We've got to do something. You know, Lois, if Chris is having confidence issues, they have camps for kids like him. What do you mean? Well, they take kids who struggle in school and help them gain self-confidence in a nurturing environment. Wow, that's actually a great idea. We don't got no money for camp. We're saving up to go to Europe. Peter, we went to Europe. You didn't like it. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. My TV isn't here. Let's go home. Hey, Chris, could we talk to you? If you're gonna insult me again, just go away. Look, honey, we're sorry, and we want to do something special for you. This is a Hamilton Beach blender we got on our wedding day. It keeps coming back to us in a vicious regifting cycle. No, Peter. Chris, we were thinking of sending you to camp, and we're gonna let you choose which one. These don't seem like very good camps. This one's called Camp Helmet. This one's called Camp Sit and Stay, where dogs and humans learn basic obedience. Hey, Brian and I went to that. Sit. Peter, just sit down. I want to sit, but my breed is naturally rebellious.
Hey, this one looks cool. Space camp. Spend a week doing intensive math and science, learning from real astronauts. Space camp? I'm sorry, that one must have accidentally gotten in with the rest of them. What are you saying, that I'm too stupid for it? Chris, we're over here. What are you saying, that I'm too stupid for it? No, no, of course not. Then this is the camp I choose. Yay, I get to go to space camp. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You guys are the best parents ever. Would you excuse me a moment? These are mine now. Hey! Oh, honey, when we accepted those mugs, we knew this could happen. You know, Chris, it's not too late to change your mind about space camp. Sometimes it can be tough to fit in with a new group of people. Yeah, I sure had my troubles when I got involved with the Boy Scouts. At no time were the campers and Mr. Griffin naked simultaneously. They merely engaged in horseplay. Did Mr. Griffin sodomize the boys? Mr. Griffin vehemently denies all allegations. Mom, I can handle space camp. I'm not stupid. Well, regardless, on the way back, we're stopping at that Down Syndrome camp we passed. Peter, that was the University of Florida. Welcome to Space Camp. Hi, we're here to register our son, Chris Griffin. Oh, great to meet you, Chris. Hey, this kid means the world to me. Keep an eye on him, huh? Hey, what's that? I thought all the space shuttles were decommissioned. Well, we always keep one spacecraft flight ready. In the event a satellite needs service, there's a space station emergency, or if the U.S. government wants the last remaining acre of Native American land. I know it's a big change, but trust me, this is even better land. Can we, like, hunt and fish? Bye!